back in September, Microsoft and Xbox, they broke the internet. Or was it August? I think it was September. They broke the internet. They announced they were buying Zenimax Media. That meant Bethesda, Machine Games, Arcane, uh, Tango Gameworks. They they just bought the whole the whole distribution company. Zenimax, Microsoft, we own you now. And after that, it was dead silence. Until now. So the the deal <laughs> the deal that they were writing up 7.5 billion dollar deal to buy the whole Zenimax company and to acquire all of those studios and to bring them under Xbox just just got uh approved and that's what that's what the silence was for because after they announced that they were buying them was like the proposal this is what they want to do they weren't actually able to buy them at the time. It was just a proposal. We want to buy Zenimax for $7.5 billion. And then the government bodies that regulate the global markets for things, because it wasn't like they were just buying Obsidian or somebody, just, you know, a small company. No, they bought a whole distribution platform. So like <laughs> every government body had the legit, look at these paperwork go through all the details and approve this and that's what took so long so i think today earlier this morning or yesterday late at night um it finally got approved i know last week the american side of uh the global thing that regulates the market they approved it already and everybody was waiting on the european side which approved it today i think because they have to make sure Microsoft buying Zenimax doesn't unbalance the market in favor of Microsoft to like dominate gaming, which I mean, Microsoft was losing. So like, <laughs> of course, like it was easy to approve, I guess, because they were losing. They looking at the global market and all right, y'all not dominating anything right now. So buying game studios is not about to make y'all dominate even more when y'all already losing by so much. But hey, a win is a win and hey, we just keep on winning. And this year I already started off. It's been some good dubs. It's been some good dubs. It's another one. So now that the proposal has been approved, it's like Microsoft asked for permission to buy them. The government bodies, they like, we see nothing wrong with this. You're able to buy them. And now Microsoft gets to buy them. So the deal's not done yet. I know there's a lot of people on like, oh, Microsoft owns Zenimax. And I'm like, not yet. And they can't talk about it either. So you're not going to see Phil and them talking about it. Not gonna see Pete and them talking about it. nobody's gonna talk about it until it's done. So we still got some weeks left because all the paperwork has to get signed, approved, checks gotta get cashed, and then it's happening. And there's still rumors about an event happening. I think it's like a week or two from now. So I mean, if everything's going according to schedule, they are making great time to sign all these papers and just announce all this shit at the event. That they were already planning to have everything's just working out falling into place and there's a whole lot of like rumor speculation of how games are going to be now because microsoft is buying bethesda and Zenimax and all of those and a whole lot of a whole lot of them are saying like oh bethesda get to keep their independence so they get to keep doing stuff the way they were doing it just they are owned by microsoft now and i'm like people hear that and it gives people false hope because like yeah independence doesn't mean like out of reach <laughs> because they could easily lion head the shit out of bethesda if they wanted to because they own them now like when they do own them so in two weeks time when they announced officially Zenimax equals xbox they could lion hand the fuck out of the whole thing everybody just give me everything and just destroy the names they could do that they have the power to do that like them keeping an independence mean pete get to keep his job that mean uh ty get to keep his job they get they still get to speak for bethesda like everybody knows that it's just like phil and matt speaking for xbox like that is all that means like <laughs> people think like oh bethesda just get to do what the hell they want microsoft just pay for them to keep doing the same thing like no 
No, it's not that easy. Like, they might get to do their own thing, but then Microsoft might change things. We don't know yet. We, they're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to talk about it. Well, Xbox not allowed to talk about it until it happens. And when it happens, that's when people go know. So, like, we're still waiting for the deal to be closed and then the details. Which, is this gaming event is real, I guess the details are going to be talked there. And I don't know. After what they pulled with Xbox Live. Exclusivity. But I know they're not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think they're going to hold the whole gaming industry like that. So, it might not be exclusivity. I know everything's going to Game Pass Day 1. And that's all I really care about. Because, uh... Not having to buy games anymore is definitely on the top of the list of things on why I got an Xbox first. Because, like, if I wanted to buy some shit, <laughs> I would just go buy a PlayStation. Like, come on now. Game Pass is just the easiest way. I can pay I can pay $15 a month. That's fine. I don't have to buy games no more. I mean, I can spend $15 on some food right now if I want to. That should be gone today. So if I can just pay $15 a month and then have every game I want to play available all the time without having to shell out 70, 70, 70, every, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Hey, you want to say I'm a game renter? That's fine. I don't play games every fucking day forever unless I really like them, which is Mass Effect. Other than that, I don't care. So every Bethesda game, day and date, Xbox Game Pass for the free, that's cool. That's cool. I can just pick any game in Game Pass and be like, all right, I'm paying $15 a month for that. All the rest of them are free. <laughs> <laughs> so when the next Elder Scrolls come out, when the next, when Starfield comes out, because it's coming Game Pass day and date, it's definitely doing that. Phil's not going to let that not happen. So when, when Starfield hits Game Pass day and date, I can pre-download this shit for the free. I can just say, yeah, I'm paying $15 a month to play Starfield for a year. That's fine. It's going to be like, good, a couple hundred dollars or like somebody bought a legendary edition of the game. That's cool. I'm going to pay that. <laughs> and I'm going to keep playing it. And I, hey, I could just go on my PC and play it. I could pull out my fucking phone and keep playing it wherever I am. That's luxury right there. And that's good. So, yeah. I think it's a good day. It's going to be a good year. There's a whole lot of games still coming. There's so much gaming news. But I just wanted to cover this. So, a hey, for not too long now, the details will be out. And then Zenimax will be Xbox.